racing to the 2020 Breeders' Cup, and this time we go to beautiful Belmont Park and take a look at the Jiper Stakes as they'll be mowing the lawn, six furlongs in this Grade 1 race. It's kind of a tough Grade 1. It was recently upgraded a few years ago. We've got an interesting field this year, an eight-horse field, and let's start with the rail horse, Kanthaka. Now, this horse is coming off a long layoff, obviously has had some physical issues over the years. I think this is more of a prep race. It's got a good string of workouts, and his ideal distance is six and a half to seven furlongs, maybe even up to a mile in the right spot. He's a versatile performer. He has run well on the dirt. He's run well on the turf. I think he does have an overall better chance on the turf. I just think six furlongs may be a little bit short off the layoff for Kanthaka, but this is the type of horse that you want to watch, you want to see what he can do, because if he's placed in the right spot, a subpar performance here could lead to higher odds. The filly taking on the boys, everybody likes that. Oleksandra, 7-2 to morning line. She ships in from the West Coast, and she's going to become running late. The last race, she got just short of the wire, finishing second. I think she gets the right pace set up here. I think Oleksandra probably will be the favorite. She's 7-2 to two on the morning line, but I'm not sure Pure Sensation is going to take all the money that's expected. Texas Wedge is definitely a contender in this spot. 4-1 to one on the morning line, and he likes that 5.5 furlong distance. He's going to try to stretch that an extra half a furlong. Depending on if there's no rain Friday night, I think we could have a fast, firm turf course, and that could play to Texas Wedge's advantage. Javier Castellano rides. He has never ran on the Belmont turf, but he has a 6-for-15 lifetime record. And at Santa Anita, he's ran against some strong allowance and kind of grade 2 and optional stakes-type horses. I think Texas Wedge... Uh, Peter Miller ships well with some of these horses, and he'll take a lot of money as well. I think he could be close to being the favorite as well. Pure Sensation, the venerable nine-year-old. Everybody likes this horse. He keeps on coming back year after year. This will be his nine-year-old campaign, and he brings a 13, 14 for 36 record into this race at Belmont Park. He's got two wins and two-thirds and five starts. Finished off last year in the Breeders' Cup Sprint. He still holds that grade one form, and Irad Ortiz rides 5-2 to two on the morning line. I just think he's going to be a little long in the tooth here. Now, I don't really have any, uh, nothing to back that up. It's just a 9-year-old coming off a layoff. It's already June. I think he would have been in training a little bit sooner and probably ran a little bit sooner if not for the COVID situation. So we'll see what happens here with Pure Sensation. He does have a lot of grit and a lot of back class, but I think he's going to be a little underlaid versus some hard-hitting in inform current horses. Stubbins is definitely a contender. He ships again from the West Coast. You got three West Coast shippers taking on some lightly raced uh, East Coast horses in this matchup. Luis Saez rides. That'll be an upgrade from the last time out. And I think he's going to be a little closer to the pace, but overall he is a stretch runner. And Stubbins definitely going to take some beating at six furlongs. Hidden Scroll is the most uh, controversial horse in horse racing. Twitter, it seems like some people love this horse. Other people think he's a router. Other people think he's a dirt horse. I've been waiting for him at a flat mile on the turf. And the last time out, he got that, and then he threw his rider. So we'll see what happens here at six furlongs. He definitely has the turf pedigree. I think he's actually got a turf stride. And, you know, two races back at Oaklawn when he ran at, uh, lost to Whitmore that day, you know, this guy is just a head case. That's his problem. He was scratched earlier this year out of a Gulfstream Park race. Then two races back, they loaded him in the gate almost a full minute before all the other horses loaded. He was in the gate for almost two minutes before they sprung the latch. Uh, last time out, he threw the jockey, kind of hopped out of the gate. So you don't know what you're going to get. I think six furlongs on the turf is his game, or a mile. Uh, it's about time to put up or shut up for Hidden Scroll. I think he's going to be strong here. I don't think he'll be 8-1 to one morning line. He was favored in that last race. Again, you're kind of just uh, guessing with what he's going to do with his jockey. Uh, but he does have some talent, and he could be on the lead here. Uh, in this type of race. White Flag at 8-1 to one is definitely a contender. I think you want to consider him off his top form. Four for seven at Belmont on the turf, and another one that could get first jump on a horse like Stubbins and Texas Wedge. I think White Flag is definitely a contender with me. And rounding out the field is Lawn Twist, 50-1 to one morning line. Uh, two for six at Belmont, that's a positive. And again, just one prep race this year. I think he'll be bet down a little bit below that. He's not that bad. It just seems like in this spot from the outside, he's not going to be uh, on a lot of tickets. But this horse actually fits in this race, and I think Lawn Twist will be more like about a 20-to-1 shot here. 
uh, the outside post and where he kind of sits pace trip wise is going to be how he finishes. That's a look at this grade one on the turf. Who do you like in the Yiper Stakes? Uh, Hidden Scroll and Oleksandra are my picks. I think you got to take a long look at Texas Wedge and Stubbins. Pure Sensation is going to be a fade for me. I hate to go against the nine-year-old, but it just, just doesn't seem like the spot for him here. And again, we've got previews of the Woody Stevens, uh, the Belmont Stakes, and also the grade one Acorn available as well. Hit subscribe, share this video with all of your horse racing friends so we get more uh, views. And if you want more uh, horse racing videos, hit that subscribe, ring that bell for notifications as we get close to 600 subscribers here. And we'll be racing you up to the 2020 Breeders' Cup.